Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk some more about the changes that are occurring in Adobe Captivate 9. Yes, Captivate 9 is now out and live. So, I've got an example of a responsive design course here, um, but what really I'm focusing on in this video is some changes to the quiz questions, uh, also to uh, to reviewing quiz questions and one final feature and that is uh, LMS preview. So let's take a look at this course I put together, a very simple course on learning about Canada. I have an introduction slide and then I have some knowledge and then I have what's called a knowledge check. Now some of you might be familiar with knowledge checks but this is actually now a feature in Adobe Captivate nine. So when you go into the quiz drop down menu you now have the option not only for question slides, random question slides which has to do with question pooling, pre-test question slides which are different. They they work in a block unto themselves and of course they're usually at the beginning of a of a course but knowledge check slides are different. Knowledge check slides do not contribute to your final quiz score they don't lock when you've completed them. So in other words, if a learner lands on this uh, knowledge check, they can complete it. And if they return there later, if they go back and try to uh, look at that knowledge check question again, they can answer it a second time, a third time, fourth time, whatever. And of course, uh, they also have the advantage of um, being placed anywhere in the course. In fact, you can even put a knowledge check after the quiz results slide, which I'll show you later in this course. Uh, you can recognize a knowledge check by the little um, graduation cap, I guess I would describe it as, in the bottom right hand corner of your film strip. But otherwise, in any, in any other way, they're much like question slides and they won't be part of the review process so if you are a learner who's completing a Captivate course and you want to review your quiz you're just going to see those quiz questions. This is completely separate from quiz questions. I've been doing of course or, or using knowledge checks uh, for many years and it's simply been uh, you know I've had to actually modify my quiz results slide so that they don't see that these quiz questions are technically no different than any other quiz, uh, quiz questions. So really good news for me because I use these guys a lot. And then of course in my course here I have a little bit more information and then a final quiz. Now there's a couple things I'm going to show you here. Let's run through this course and I'll, I'll highlight some of the changes as we go through it. So I'll just preview this. Uh, we'll do the entire project. So learning about Canada, want to learn about Canada, you've come to the right place. So let's hit our next button there. Basics of Canada, some information about where it's located, um, its relationship to the United States and so on. Hit next again here. And we come to our first knowledge check question. So what is unique about the border between Canada and the United States? Um, so it is the world's longest land border. It has uh, 20 foot concrete walls from coast to coast. Uh, it is entirely unprotected. Um, so anyone who knows anything about Canada knows that answer B and C are incorrect. But let's answer it wrong anyway and see how that goes. So we're just going to hit submit here. Try again. Okay, that's not correct. Uh, it's entirely unprotected. Try again. Yeah, we'll try one more. Obviously we're going to get this wrong incorrect let's go back and review so what I've done is I've set it up and this is the great part of uh, knowledge check questions is you can set them up so that if the user gets them wrong it returns you back to the slide where you can get some remedial learning at this point so now I can learn properly oh right it is the world's largest land border so I can hit next I'm back at the knowledge check 
again it's not locked I can answer this question as many times as I wish so I'm going to answer it correctly this time it is the world's largest or sorry longest land border submit correct yep I get to move on so again um, uh, some uh, this is in geography I don't know why it's called that Canada is a federal parliamentary democracy and a constitutional monarchy Queen Elizabeth II is the current head of state the capital is Ottawa and there are two official languages English and French so now we're gonna do a final quiz and what we're gonna see here is pretty standard you know, I don't think you're seeing anything that's surprising uh, which of the following are the official languages of Canada um, you know, maybe it's Canadian, I would think, you know, being Canada. And I think they speak French there as well. So we'll hit submit. Oh, that's incorrect. Okay. And uh, which is the which city is the capital of Canada? Uh, I think it's Moose Jaw. I'm pretty sure of that. Click anywhere. Pre okay, I didn't get that one right either. Um, who is the current head of state? Well, clearly it's President Barack Obama. So I'll hit submit, and oh, so I, I failed. I didn't do so well. Uh, I've taken one attempt. Uh, so let's review that quiz and see maybe where I went wrong. Now this is where one of the new features of Captivate 9 has come into place. Now you noticed earlier I had a submit button and a clear button when I visited these question slides, and now I have a back and next button and what's great about this is that those weren't visible when I was taking the quiz so when in the past when we would use a back and skip button uh, sometimes users would get confused as to whether I click submit to submit my answer or whether I click next to submit my answer so now it's clear so clearly okay well what did I do wrong here uh, oh I should have selected English not Canadian that's not correct here and let's go forward here which city oh I said Moose Jaw it's Ottawa and uh, obviously it's Queen Elizabeth II so now I'm back to the quiz results slide and of course I can continue and uh, this brings me now to uh, another knowledge check question again as I mentioned earlier knowledge check questions can e exist beyond the quiz results page so here I just have a simple one where how do you rate this online course I think it's pretty good I think it's good I won't say it's great and submit and then of course that exits for me um, back to uh, back to the course here so that covers off some some really great advantages I want to show you one other thing that's really I think exciting about Captivate 9 and one of the things that I've always challenged I've been challenged with is when you get to the stage where you're just about ready to publish the final version of your Adobe Captivate project you want to test it in an LMS and to do this normally when you work within an organization as an instructional designer you would publish the course and take the SCORM file or the tin can file or uh, whatever package file you have and then bring it over to your LMS coordinator to upload to the LMS and then you log in and you test it and then of course uh, you know you might find some problems and you have to re-upload it again no more now of course you have a great option available to you and if you you can access it just from the preview drop down icon I'm going to click this here and you'll see it's an option to preview your course in SCORM Cloud. So Adobe has made arrangements with the folks over at SCORM Cloud to allow them and their users of Adobe Captivate software to upload files to SCORM Cloud for testing purposes. You're not going to lose any information. It's all, all the privacy. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. All of your content will be deleted before, uh, you know, once you exit. And I'll show you the process here. So I've clicked on that. It's generating my file, and it will be uploading to the SCORM Cloud site. You'll see it's a very simple progress bar on this uh, LMS preview window and once the uh, project is uploaded to SCORM Cloud we'll get to see a preview of it 
it's preparing the course and in a moment we'll see it here so this LMS preview in SCORM cloud um, will also give you an opportunity to test responsive design as well so I'm just going to scroll this down a little bit here and we'll click next next again we'll answer our question this time we'll do it correctly again this is a knowledge check so it's not that crucial that I get that correct it's not contributing to my score uh, a little bit more knowledge imparted on me here and of course French and English are the two official languages of Canada and Ottawa is the capital of Canada um, current head of state is Queen Elizabeth II and I've uh, passed the quiz that's great news and of course I can see the log information that's communicating back and forth between SCORM Cloud and of course me running this uh, particular course I can download those logs which may be useful for me if I'm troubleshooting uh, why a course is working or not working but then once I'm finished I of course can close the window and this will bring me to uh, a new window that you'll see it's relaunched the preview so again I can test it again I can do multiple attempts to try different scenarios passing failing answering this question one way or another way um, and that works fine I also can get the results and this will give me an actual results page where I've got a summary of everything that transpired here so um, I won't explain all the details suffice it to say is that you can actually download this and uh, there of course is uh, help icons next to each section that help explain what each of these pieces of information is to you and how important it is and what what it basically is indicating um, at the bottom here of course are the actual interaction data points for your course so again we've got these three questions which of the following are the official languages of Canada which is the capital of Canada and current head of state and it, see, it shows you what the correct responses were what the learner responded to so again you can run through all these scenarios and make sure your course is totally functioning well I'm going to close this window and it returns me here now if I click on close what will happen now is it will delete all this information from SCORM cloud so you don't again have to worry about confidentiality or anything like that obviously there are certain organizations that you know may include sensitive information in their online courses so again none of that is being retained by SCORM cloud or Adobe so nothing there for you to worry about so I don't know about you guys but I'm really excited about these changes in Adobe Captivate 9 uh, a lot of my course design will fit better with this new software so I'm really looking forward to designing my next course in Captivate 9 guys if you like the videos that I'm producing for you I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and if you thought this video was okay go ahead and give me a thumbs up